Hi, I'm Lenore. I'm a singer and a voice teacher, a guide on your vocal journey. So if you have any questions about singing or you want to learn anything about the voice, just head on to my website, singwell.eu, and I can guide you through there. Today, we are doing a reaction video to uh, I have one of my personal favorites, Kelly Clarkson. And recently, she became one of my favorites. I started watching her uh, show and then I realized she's doing karaoke on her show like I do on my show and she is just uh, such a fun personality and um, yeah I, I like her a lot so today I'm gonna watch her singing Rock Hudson and this is a live performance I'm very very curious about it uh, and I've never reacted to Cl Kelly before so let's go for it It was real, but it wasn't. No one ever saw it coming. I was never what you wanted. Like a real life movie. Didn't think it happened to me. Guess it didn't, you just fooled me. Who knew love was so confusing? Happiness doesn't mean smiling when it's your scene. You said we were doing fine as you said. I have to stop at some point um, even though I don't want to so yeah one of the things I like about her singing is um, the mix yeah she has a great color in both her chest and her head voice her chest voice is never just chest and her head voice is never just head and some people would say everything we ever you know, produce out of our mouth is a mixed voice and I tend to agree with that but just for technicalities we can talk about the speaking voice, the chest voice being like the speaky, very like almost flat, like that kind and on the on the border of squeakiness that would be the chest voice and then the head voice is like a little bit more airy. And um, if you completely flip into head voice, it almost sounds like a girl choir, like, Woo! and she doesn't really do that. She has a bit of airiness and she has that bit of uh, that beauty of the head voice, but you also have a little bit of depth in it. And that's because everything is really, for lack of better words, relaxed. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of things going on in her body, like she's engaged and she's you know, she's creating a great machine there. But at the end of the day, like here, there is no tension. Here, there's no tension. You almost don't see um, her budging in order to go to high notes, right? So, and actually when she goes to high notes, she thinks down. You can see that, like she's looking down. She's sometimes gesturing with her hand down. So everything eventually, Turns out being balanced, you know, low notes don't feel too low, high notes don't feel too high. And I love, I love that she's doing that. That's brilliant. Turns out we can't compete. Oh, reality is never quite as good as the dream. No, I won't dance anymore. No, I won't put on a show. You can play. Okay, here, that's so good. She really goes from, you know, from saying the lyrics here, and there's so, like, those little bubbles of uh, interpretation that comes from that. I don't think she decided, and I'm guessing, don't think she decided I'm gonna do a little bit of a break there in the voice, like a cry mode kind of thing. I think that came out naturally from the song from her um, expressing the song. And yeah, you see, she's, she's really telling the story here. She's just, you know, she's saying it the way it is. And the voice is a side effect. You already know, maybe if you watch some of my reactions, that this is the thing that, that I'm fascinated by and that I'm a fan of. When everybody knows she can sing, right? But, the way 
it comes out. It's a side effect of the expression, and I think that's amazing. You can blame it on me Cause I don't care what you think From the moment I saw you I had never felt I could choose It was always gonna be you Even when they told me not to You were all I wanted But now you're gone and What could you promise mm. If you're never really honest See? Wow Okay, so Two things. Did you see the hand going down on the high note? I love that. And the second thing, do you see this badass face? I mean, it, I, it, that never gets old for me. Every time I see a good singer doing this face, and especially when you go to high notes, powerful belted notes, and then you see everybody doing that. And the, 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 the flinging of the head, the tipping of the head is very, very slight. She doesn't need more than that. I mean, just look at her. Maybe we can see her from the side at some point and then we'll pay attention. But already from here, I can see everything is in one line. Like if you imagine where her spine is, it's all very centered and there's nothing breaking it. Not much, you know, going on in the shoulders. Everything is just, she's like a tower of voice. Love it. It's not fair. I mean, she's not doing anything. I mean, when you look at her, she's not doing anything. She's just, her heart is doing all of it. And yeah, there's some stuff, I mean, there's some stuff going on in the body that you can't see. I know she's supporting. I know that, I don't know how, because people support in different ways, but I think she's breathing deep for sure. I don't see her shoulders go up a lot. So she's breathing deeply. She's expanded. She doesn't go, Hur. she doesn't waste air. So you know she's keeping her air, which is, is a technique I'm a fan of. And you know that she has good flow of air because she's opening, her vocal cords are closed, she's using her speaking voice and a little bit of twang. She doesn't really need much, but she has that there all the time. It's like activated all the time. And other than that, everything is seamless. It looks like she's just standing there, talking to her audience, really heartfelt um, stuff, but she doesn't have to do anything to get the singing out, or at least that's what it looks like. Everything is internal, and the result is just, as I said, a tower of voice. This is really, like, this is next level, like, I've seen this on Aretha Franklin, like, this is the... I've seen this on Jesse Norman, and I've commented on that, that serenity and the tallness and the, you can see the space in the body and then there is no, no need for much else. By the way, I did comment um, before uh, on like effects when you have some grit and, or, or growling, whatever it is, um, and that there is a way to do it in a healthy way. That's how. Again, I'm not an expert. I don't teach effects. I've never learned it. 
but I can hear that she's just giving a little bit of like, it's almost, it feels like a narrowing here and nothing constricting here. So that's great. Good for you, Kelly. Could I ever compete with a fire set so hard that you could never even reach? You know, I I've seen in the past this video that someone made of her singing uh, the same song. Um, I think it's uh, I forgot one of her signature songs um, she's just um, trying to hit this really high belted note and they gave an example on how she does it really well and then how she doesn't reach the note like it's flat and then another example when it's above the note like sharp so two times when it's off and one times when it's really good and I, I was just thinking oh no like she used to be able to do it and now she can't. Is that the case? Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently whatever happened uh, in the past, maybe she was in the middle of a tour and her voice was just tired. Whatever that was, it's gone now because this is a healthy, very high belted note, very impressive. Yeah, no complaints at all. She is... Recovered. It could have been recovered for a long time. I mean, I haven't heard problems in her voice ever since I started watching her, her show and the, the karaoke that she does there. Um, so that's great. That's really good to see and hear. Uh, it, it, makes, it makes my day. effect so one of her backup singers sounds almost like her so when they sing it together it's like the effect you will get in the voice recording studio uh, in the recording studio when when you just double the voice cool By the way, piece by piece, I think that's a reference to another song of her, of hers. I found out my hero's me. I'm very, I'm very touched by this, and I'm very happy to see her like this. You know, I think it's not granted to be so vocally healthy. After so many years, um, and you know, you had this like booming success, and she had those vocal issues when sometimes it wouldn't work out. She just conquered it all. So that's really whew, that's an optimistic uh, note to finish on. Let's see if she. I, I think that's the end of the song. Let's just make sure. Yeah, I'm the song. <laughs> Fantastic work. There's a lot to learn here. Um, on you know, you learn the right technique, but then you don't lead with the technique. You lead with the song. You lead with the music. You lead with the text, and then everything that you've learned serves you. That's what she's doing here. And by the way she could have done all of this good stuff since she was eight years old and nobody ever taught her to do that that doesn't matter to me as long as she is actually doing all the stuff that i pointed out so she's using all the good technique whether she's like doing it intentionally or not and i think she's doing it intentionally because she she is sustainable um so now a little bit later in her life she is performing like a goddess and I love that I love Kelly I love her so that was great I enjoyed it a lot thank you for watching this with me and uh, enjoy singing I'll see you in the next one bye